Motor Calculator is a new Android app available from Snappy Apps. This software is available on the Google Play Store as a free ad-driven version and a paid ad-free version. The software is designed with electrical engineers and electricians in mind and was created by tradesmen who work in the field. Motor Calculator is a very comprehensive package that supports multiple jobs and multiple motor calculations. We highly recommend you watch this tutorial in its entirety so that you can get the most out of Motor Calculator. While Motor Calculator has many handy modules, such as a fully featured construction calculator and a conversion app, in this tutorial we will be concentrating on the core of the app, the job module and the motor module. With that said, let's take a look at the app. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the jobs module. This is the hard hat icon or you can click on the uh, jobs label as well. This will allow us to create a job where we will work underneath. When you first click in the job list, there is always one job called default. We can simply rename that by clicking on it. And now we have our first job. The plus button in the upper right will allow us to add more jobs. So we can add a couple more jobs here just for demonstration. And the trash can will allow you to delete jobs that you're no longer using or to free up memory. For now, let's, uh, the arrow on the left will allow you to select jobs, as you can see here. So for now, let's select equitable as our job that we want to work on and back out of the job list. Now we'll go straight on into the motor module, which is the icon of the motor, or you can click on the motor heading. The first thing you'll notice when we come in here is that equitable is selected. Our, our selected job is always shown in the title bar so that you know what job you're working on. So now let's go ahead and um, create some motors underneath the job equitable. By default, we have new motor selected, but by clicking on the motor or the heading or on new motor, you can bring up your motor list. So these are the motors underneath the job equitable. So again, you can hit the plus button to add several motors, depending on how many motors you need to calculate. And you can rename them by clicking on the name. So let's call this uh, exhaust one. And we'll select it with the arrow again. Now you'll notice in motor calculator, unlike our other modules, you can select more than one. Usually we just allow you to select one, that's the one you're working on. The reason for this in motor module is because you can calculate a single motor, but you can also calculate main feeders for a group of motors. So for now, we'll select the one motor and calculate it. So we'll back out of here. And you'll see exhaust one under the job equitable is selected now. So now we're going to go through on our specs tab and we're going to set up the specs of our motor. And when we're done, we're going to click on the selected tab, which is indicating that the selected motor, just a single motor uh, will be calculated and this will show our calculations. If you have a group of motors selected, you can go to your mains tab and this will give you results for your main feeders for that group of motors. So you'll never really be working on both tabs. You'll either be working on a single motor selected or you'll be working on a group of motor under mains. And the app will warn you. So say we go into mains right now, it'll warn you that you only have a single motor selected. So there's no point in calculating mains and uh, vice versa for the selected tab. If you go into the selected tab and you have multiple motors selected, it will give you a warning that you have multiple motors selected and then it's only selecting a single motor, the um, top of the list motor. So let's go ahead and uh, set up exhaust one. So let's set it up as a 30 amp motor. So we literally click in 30 amps. Uh, number of conductors affects uh, pipe fill. So we'll want to select, uh, we'll go three on this, a three phase 600 volt motor. Then as you scroll down, you'll see uh, what each of these uh, affect by the heading. So conductor sizing uh, is affected by duty cycle and minute rating. You'll typically get these figures right off your motor. If you don't see them on the motor, then you're going to have to go with uh, continuous just so um, you get your maximum calculation. So you can select from quite a few things here. These are all defined actually in your code book under section zero, I do believe, definitions. 
Um, so if you don't have a rating on your motor, you can actually look up the definition of what a periodic um, duty cycle is, and it'll tell you in your code book, and you can uh, select the appropriate one from the list. So let's go periodic for this one. Minute rating, we'll go with a 15 minute minute rating. Then we'll move down to overcurrent sizing. These uh, selections affect your overcurrent sizing. So we can choose from a time delay fuse, a non-time delay or a breaker. So let's say we're using a breaker on this one. Our type of motor, we're gonna go with a uh, AC squirrel cage, common motor, and service factor, which is gonna affect your overload sizing. And your only two options here are greater or equal to 1.15 or less than 1.15. So let's go ahead and leave it on greater than. So once you have all your numbers in here, you can go to your results. So in this case, we only have one motor selected. So we'll go to our selected motor and this will give our overcurrent sizing, our maximum overcurrent in amps, our maximum percentage, which is over FLA. So we can go up to 250% over our FLA, which we specified here, 30 amps. And that gives us 70. Then we go down to our overload sizing. Uh, max size here is 125% of FLA, which is calculated to 38 amps. And then we go down to our wire sizing, which this is red. There we go. Red usually indicates if I, um, what you can do is, so the calculated wire size right now is number 10 at 35 amp allowable ampacity. But if you can always uh, select your own wire sizing, if say you wanted to upsize this to number eight, you can select, select number eight and you'll see it goes red. And all that indicates is that that's not a calculated value anymore. It's an overridden value. So you've overridden the uh, standard calculation. And as you override it, all your other uh, figures will change here. You'll notice now that our maximum allowable ampacity is 50. And anytime you want to get this back to normal, you just hit the menu, recalculate, okay. And it will recalculate back to number 10. So let's do that again. That red should clear, there we go. Um, number of runs, you can go with a uh, just a single primary run, or if you're calculating a larger motor, you can go up to a parallel run and um, uh, two parallel runs, three parallel runs, or four parallel runs. Um, next, you can choose your wire type. So you can go up to a 90 degree wire if you're using, say, a T90. This will also affect your uh, allowable ampacity and your calculated wire size, as we can see, went up to 12 or down to 12. You can choose from metal or aluminum feeders, which will again will affect your calculated wire size and your ampacity. And after that you'll see bond size. So this is your bond wire that you're going to want to run in your conduit, if you so choose. And then after your wire section, we get into your pipe recommendations. So in this case, since um, what are we running here, we're running aluminum number 10, three of them. So we're going to fit that into a half inch conduit. Um, you can s choose your pipe type, so you can go between any conduit types that are included in your code book. Right now I'll keep it on EMT, but you could easily go to a rigid or a PVC if you wanted. But we'll keep it on EMT for now. And um, this result here shows how many wires are required in your pipe. Three, which we specified over in our specs here, number of conductors. And how many will actually fit in a half inch pipe, which is five. So you can see, this gives you a good indication of how full your pipe is. Um, this seems fine right now. It's only, uh, it can fit five and we're only putting three in there. So that's nice. And then your last selection is what uh, type of wire you're pulling in. So right now we're selected a T90 nylon, but you can choose from a whole variety of wires, all the wires that are included in your code book. And this will of course affect your um, pipe fill. So as you can see now, I go to an RPV 90, uh, with jacket and now I can only fit three and a half inch as opposed to the five that we had when we were sitting at uh, T90. And so that's your calculation complete. Uh, one other thing, uh, same as wire size, you can uh, actually adjust your pipe size so we can up it to three quarter, which will give us a lot more uh, space. Now we can see we can fit nine wires in there. And again, like wire size, it'll turn red to indicate that um, it's now a modified result and reset it. You can just hit the recalculate again and it'll go back. And so that's about it. The mains are pretty much the same thing. We're getting our warning because we only have one, one motor selected. 
but this will show your overcurrent for your main wires um, feeding a group of motors and it'll show your wire sizing for the main feeders again you can select all the same things that you selected for a single motor and again it's showing conduit for that group of motors um, not for each individual motor so when you have a group of motors selected you can come here and get the results for that entire group of motors and that's about it so once you have a calculation complete there's a few things you can do with it um, from your main menu here we'll bring that up you can email the result what this is going to do is it's going to email a uh, single result for the job so whichever um, motor is selected at the time that will be included in an email it'll open up your default email browser and uh, it'll have all your results in there for the selected motor now, if you want to get all your motors out, you can email as a CSV, which is a comma separated value file. This file can be opened in any spreadsheet. So what this will do is it'll bundle all your motors under the job equitable. So even if you have whatever, 50 motors under that job, all 50 will be put into a spreadsheet and you'll be able to email that off. Uh, help brings up our user manual. It's a PDF online manual. So as soon as you click on that, the manual will pop up. Well, didn't on my simulator, but it will on your phone, trust me. So the print option will allow you to print the currently selected motor. That should send it right to your printer. Um, this assumes that your phone supports printing and that you have all the proper um, software installed. I know on my particular uh, Android device, I need to have uh, Epson, Epson's app installed because I have an Epson printer and once that app's installed I can uh, easily print from my phone um, using this print option here. Recalculator showed you earlier that'll reset all your um, user modified values and just do a recalculation on your motors. Reset is a little more dangerous it's going to change everything for the selected motor back to default values so it's going to change everything that you've changed back to default and completely reset that motor. Video tutorial will obviously bring you right to here. The YouTube video tutorial for this app and cancel will get you out of this menu. I hope that you really enjoy our app and that it saves you tons of time. If you require more help, please be sure to check out our PDF manuals and our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with new tutorials and new apps. Also, check us out on Instagram under Snappy Apps. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon.